Welcome to VATEX video on importing IIF files into QuickBooks Online using our IIF importer for QuickBooks Online. I would like to start by showing you an IIF file. Uh, in most cases, you can open them with Excel, uh, but they're not truly a spreadsheet. Here you'll see that there are three transactions, begin with trans and with ntrans. We have an invoice with a invoice number, which is called doc number, of one uh, INV777. And then we have a payment, pay that invoice, because the SPL line has a doc number of INV777, which is the same as the invoice number was just created. And we also have a journal entry that has nothing to do with either one of the above, but just to show you that it indeed can be put into the same file. So now that you have that file and you might have received it from your other system, a legacy application that still creates those, uh, payroll uh, is one example of where they do create those types of files. Now I'll now show you how to import it, and it's very, very simple. We have already installed our application. It is a Windows application, and I'll now start it up. So I just double click on the icon on the desktop, and it is now coming up. We have connected to our test QuickBooks company. And I'll show you that there, those transactions are not currently in there. I go into the search for the recent transactions, and you'll see that there's an old payment, credit memo, and so forth. But nothing with INV777 and so forth. Now, all I need to do in our IIF importer is to select the file and click on the import button and then you can see it in QuickBooks he here or you can just go to your QuickBooks and look at it in recent transactions so I now select the file I will now browse to it we have put a test file in a separate folder that I put it into our quick access and you don't have to do that but you can if you want to do and there is our file and I'll double click on it to select it and here's the file name Here's the folder that it's in. I will now click on the import. Confirm that that's the file we want to import. And you can see in our progress bar and our status line that it is imported. It says complete transactions three. So we did three transactions. And here's the three transactions, an invoice, payment, and a journal entry. We'll look at them in QuickBooks. I will refresh the recent transactions. Here's our journal entry payment invoice. Let's look at the payment first. And there it is. It has paid our invoice. Now let's look at the invoice. There's the invoice and it is marked paid. And finally, a journal entry. And there it is. Now this is indeed a very simple case, but we have done all types of transactions, large and small alike. That concludes our demonstration of our IIF importer for QuickBooks Online. Uh, following this, we will show you how to install the product on your Windows system, and also how to authorize it in QuickBooks Online. It is all very, very simple. Again, thank you for watching this part of the video, and I will talk to you later. Welcome to the ATEX video on how to install our IIIF importer for QuickBooks Online onto your Windows system. Again, it is a Windows program and you have to have Windows to run the program. You may have received a, a link from us or, or gone to our web page and you will see a download link here. It is a PDF file that has the instructions. I will now click on it and show you. Here it is. It's all very, very simple. There is a link to the installer program. You just click on it and it will download. I'm using Chrome, which puts it in the bottom left hand corner. Different browsers may do it differently. You will then have to run that. Uh, but I just want to show you also that there are indeed instructions, very detailed instructions 
on what is, is done. Every single screen is here. All you have to do is follow the prompts and click on next, 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 and it's, it's done for you. I will now go through that process. Okay. First one, click on next. Second one, click on next. Third one, click on next. Now, Windows is now saying, hey, do you really want to do this? Uh, you click on yes. That's an exception. Click on next. Okay, installation is complete. And we have now created our shortcut here. And it's also available from the start menu under A for ATEX. And here it is. And it comes up. In the next video, we'll show you how to authorize it. This one has been already pre authorized. But we'll show you that in the next video, which is just as quick. Thank you for watching this video. Welcome to the ATEX video on how to authorize our IIF importer in QuickBooks Online. Uh, you will probably have found that you already have installed the program, and our instructions to install it also includes a link on how to authorize it. It is very simple. There are detailed step-by-step -step instructions, uh, but you will need to do it with a admin or accountant user. Normally, when you first bring up the program, it will ask you to connect to QuickBooks. So you click on the Connect QuickBooks button. An Internet Explorer window will open, and this is a sign-on to QuickBooks online but it's different from your normal sign on it has to be done through the program now put in our, our admin user and password click on the sign in button now if you had multiple companies QuickBooks would have displayed the list of the companies and you would have to pick the company you wanted in this case this user is only connected to one QuickBooks online company so that was not displayed but now you can click on connect And it's all done. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please contact us via email at sales at atech.com or support at atech.com. Thank you for watching this video.